<sighs> sort of out here roasting my butt butt off and take a break ran to town this morning to get the top layer for the pond liners so this stuff here a little tarping this crap here got some white plastic sheets like this stuff here that's all gonna be like the under pad shit and it will overlap the regular pond liner that I have because the regular pond liner I have will should be enough to cover all the sides because that's where most of the strength you really want it to be is at the sides help keep that puncturing going from the sides and then at the bottom especially over here um, after I get everything raked out that's when I'm gonna start layering all this other shit down this is the last layer um, that way I've got more than enough layers there which end up being three four times thicker than the actual pond liner itself yeah I gotta get all this shit out but I'm going to take a break here in a moment because I've been carrying all the crap out there in those two rolls. Man, those are like, I don't know. They felt like they were 150 pounds each. Probably my luck, they're probably like 50 or 60 pounds each. I, I'm not sure. But I got to be easy because my, my freaking back. But then... This is the actual pond liner stuff. This is, yeah, genuine pond liner shit where it's the thickness on it's pretty darn thick. This will be enough to cover the sides of the pond, and if there's anything extra, we'll let it go down into the bottom to overlap so it helps add all that protection there. But as of right now, I'm gonna take a break, I'm roasting my, my, my balls off. Got stakes to help pin it, pin the liner down. Once we, I get it all put in there, I'm having to do all this on my own. And then uh, start filling it with water. Hopefully, I can get the the bottom cleared and raked out tomorrow with enough time to lay all the liner down. Otherwise. Might be at this for a couple more days before putting water in. Oh yeah, hope you all have a good day.